Hi, this is Sida Sada Doctor. I scored AIR 66 in NEET PG 2025 and I scored 173 correct out of 200 questions. But honestly, I knew the answer to only 120 of them. The rest, pure strategy. And let's see that strategy which helped me to boost my score from 120 correct to 173 correct. Let's go. I solved around 25 GTs from prep ladder. And after solving these many questions, I developed one single algorithm which can help you crack each and every MCQ. Let's see what the algorithm is. The first step of solving any MCQ is to not read the question, but read the options first. Like for example, this question. Here I have hidden the options. Here you have a 32 year old female who is a post renal transplant case. Now once when I see renal transplant, then 1000 different things come to my mind. Like for example, acute rejection, chronic rejection, vessel anastomosis, immunos immunosuppression. So my brain was wandering in 1000 different directions. And then I see the keyword that is decoy cells in urine. Then I arrive at the answer. But if I would have just read the options first, my brain wouldn't have wandered in 1000 different directions. And then I would have saved a lot of time. This strategy will help you clear many INS set questions where you have to save time and you have to mark the answer even under one single minute. The next step after reading the options is look at the question. There can be only three types of questions. Image based question, long question or short question. In this example, we have an image based question. I have read the options. I have seen four organisms. Then I see the image. There is a central streak of Staph aureus and some dots around it. As soon as I see the image, suddenly it gets clicked in my brain that this is satellitism. And once I see satellitism, I know I have to be thinking about H influenza. Already H influenza is in the options. But just to be sure, I will read the question. And here they have asked the most likely organism. I will mark H influenza and I will move ahead. The next type of question is long question. And in case of long question, you will always read the last line first. Pause the video and have a look at this. In this question, they have given a long case of acute appendicitis. But if you would have read the last line first, then you would have known they have asked nothing about acute appendicitis. They have asked what type of inflammation it is. So, so it is very important to read the last line in case of a long question. The next type of question is a short question or a one liner. Just read the question, read all the four options and mark the answer. For example, this question. Here they have asked about the investigation where you can see layers of retina. Just read all the options. You see optical CT, mark the answer and move on. Here comes the most important part of this video. What to do when you don't know the answer? Like for example, this question. This question came in a recent INI paper. Here they have given an MR angiogram and they have asked which artery is marked in the image. They have given four options. Superficial temporal artery, basilar artery, middle meningeal artery and occipital artery. Now the next step is recall any and any information that you can and also use some simple common sense. In this question, occipital artery and basilar artery can be ruled out because occipital artery is present more posteriorly and as you recall from circle of Willis, basilar artery is not present more laterally as given in this image. Now you have already ruled out two options. If you have ruled out even one option, you have to attempt that question. Here we have ruled out two options. So you must attempt this. Only two options remain. Either it is a superficial temporal artery or it is a middle meningeal artery. Use any common sense that you can. You might or might not get the correct answer. Just mark any one of them. Here the answer is superficial temporal artery. But 50% of people who would have ruled out basilar artery and occipital artery, 50% would have marked middle meningeal and 50% would have marked superficial temporal. It depends on the luck. But once you have ruled out one or even more than one option, you must mark the question. This question superbly demonstrates the ability of last day revision. They have asked about CD marker of NK cells. CD marker is something which everyone should include in their last day copy. And how to make the last day copy, I have already explained in this video. I took this table by Dr. Preeti ma'am where she has given all the CD markers in one single place. It saved me a lot of time of compiling all the markers in one place. And as you know, on the last day, you do not have time. Let's look at another question where you can arrive at the answer using just simple common sense. This was a repeat INI question. Ek to ye INI wale. Ye MCQ ke andar MCQ dal ke inception inception khelne ki inki buri aadat hai. Thode saalo mein 200 ke 200 question aise hi dalenge. Anyway, in this question, you see four options and then again four options. 
आयन आय वाले लुक एट द थर्ड ऑप्शन दे हैव सेड दैट यू कैन टेक डोनर ग्राफ्ट फ्रॉम एंटीरियर इंटरऑशियस नर्व नाउ यूजिंग सम कॉमन सेंस एंड रिकॉलिंग वॉट एवर यू नो यू नो दैट एंटीरियर इंटरऑशियस नर्व इज अ मोटर नर्व एंड माई कॉमन सेंस टेल्स मी दैट इफ यू टेक अ मोटर नर्व फॉर अ डोनर ग्राफ्ट देन वॉट एवर फंक्शन दैट मोटर नर्व सर्स दोज विल बी लॉस्ट so you will not take a motor nerve as a donor graft so third option is already ruled out then i look at the second set of options there whenever i see option number 3 i rule that option out so the answer is 1 and 2 yeah. now have a look at this question in this question whatever recall you try to make whatever common sense that you might apply nothing works you can't even rule out even a single option and when you can't rule out even a single option then simply leave the question this is the question where they have asked about screening for infections in donor blood now on the day of the exam your blood is flooded with adrenaline and you are under a lot of stress so in that stress when you see blood transfusion and you see hiv in the hurry you can mark hiv and you move on but you will commit a very silly mistake because before answering each and every question before you press submit always make sure that you have read the last line in this question they have not asked which infection you will screen for but rather if you read the last line they have said which infection you will not screen for and then the answer completely changes from hiv so always read the last line before you submit the answer so that you not make such silly mistake and your rank doesn't slip from top to bottom